Hello and welcome to the program. It's a cold Tuesday here in Korea and I'm Lee Jun in Seoul. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Mark Broom. Our top story this afternoon is at over at the National Assembly today where the confirmation hearing uh, for the nation's Prime Minister nominee, Lee Wan Gu, began this morning. Yes, but it will be a tough ride for him as he faces a mounting series of allegations against him. Our National Assembly correspondent Pak ji is following the story. The two-day confirmation hearing for Prime Minister nominee Lee Wan Gu got underway at the National Assembly on Tuesday. Lee, the ruling Senate Party floor leader up until late last month, began by expressing his regret over a series of allegations against him that have piled up in recent weeks. As I was preparing for this confirmation hearing, I was once again reminded of how small and problematic I was. I bitterly regret my deficiencies. The 65-year-old three-term lawmaker is facing a tough road ahead as the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy Party has urged him to withdraw himself from consideration. That's a turnaround from when the nomination was announced as it was hailed at first by both parties. The amicable atmosphere changed amid allegations surrounding his past. These range from accusations of real estate speculation to doubts about whether he and his son properly fulfilled their mandatory military service and a public outcry against his attempts to wield his influence over reporters, behavior that he has since acknowledged as improper. The hearing ends Wednesday and lawmakers will vote on his nomination on Thursday. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.